What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Elias the First and this is Drink and Dish. All right, y'all, I hope you all have had a good two weeks since the last time you saw me entertain you up here. So today I have, like I say every week, a great special show for you, all right? Uh, the drink I'm making today is going to make you feel relaxed. It's going to take your mind somewhere very far away, like on a vacation or something, right? The drink I'm making is called Island Vibes. Okay, with that Z on the end, you know we gotta make it a little ghetto. So Island Vibes up in this piece, right? So we're gonna start with the tequila. Y'all know tequila is my favorite, and we're just gonna pour it in to our pitcher like so. And you know, I'm going till I say when, cause I like my drinks wet, strong, and that should be good. That should be good for now. We'll see. So now that we got the tequila in, the next thing we're gonna add is some mango juice, mango nectar rather, some passion fruit, and some guava. We're gonna add some pineapple. Mm. A little bit of coconut water. And water, y'all, not milk. That'll just be nasty. Get water, okay? So a little bit of the coconut water. Here. Boom. Mm. Some lime juice. I did, I think, like three and a half, four limes. Squeeze that out there, boom. Throw that up in there. And then next I found these really dope seltzer waters. They are tangerine lemongrass. They actually taste pretty fucking dope. So we're gonna go ahead and pour some up in there like so. Boom. Pow. Give it a stir. So then, like always, we're gonna try to put ice in these cups without, it's too late. I don't even know why I say it. Bam. Boom. And down in these, put these back. Got a little bit of grenadine here at the bottom. Like so, you see, you see right there, okay. Move some of this stuff out my way so I can get to my drink. So now we're gonna just go ahead and pour the drink down in there. Mm, mm, mm. Mouth is watering already. It's been a long week, y'all. This drink is needed. Y'all, hold on. Let me move some shit out the way here so y'all can see. Boom. Y'all see that? Don't that make you feel like you want to go to Jamaica somewhere, Cancun, Puerto Vallarta? Ooh. Telling y'all what y'all know. Then we're going to garnish it with a little lime wheel there and drop in a couple maraschino cherries. No, don't do me. Bam. Pow. And pow. Bam. And there you go, folks. That is the Island Vibes drink for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with a little more bubbly on top. Pow, pow, pow. And there we have it. So, now that we got our drink, you know what time it is. I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, so we're here. Time to talk, to do our dishing part of Drink and Dish. This week, I have a recurring guest here. Y'all should remember him from second season. Everyone, please welcome back to the table one half of the previous beloved podcast, mm. hashtag Slick Talk. We ain't gonna talk about that because <laughs> I got feelings. And the owner of the travel blog, JB Travels. Yes. Please welcome my good friend, JB, y'all. Yes. All right, hey. Thank you, thank you. I'm yes. glad to be back. I'm 
I'm glad to be sitting here talking about something I'm very passionate about. I know you're going to explain that. Glad yes. to be sipping on this drink. I know good, good. Give a give a description of that as well. Yes, yes, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. Um, so for you out there, our topic this week is traveling. My friend here is an avid traveler. It is his shit. It's his shit. Nah, he. All right, like y'all know. This nigga right here, he be traveling, all right? So when I said I wanted to, you know, inform the people how to travel, it's been COVID and all this stuff going on, this was the guy I thought of. So thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on. You're an awesome person to come and deal with this raggedy ass show, okay? Nah. Oh, but thank you. So before we can start with anything, you know, we got to cheers up to, you know, our topic tonight. So go ahead, pick up your cheers. drinking dish shot glass. Cheers, man. Cheers. Right, yep, there we go. Mm. Mm. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. How do you like oh. your drink? So my drink is actually good. You call it Island Vibes, right? Yes. It definitely tastes like um, laying out, you know, tropical island and everything like that. It tastes very tropical. Although I can taste the like grenadine at the bottom. Yeah. But it's good though. Thank you. Thank you. It's thank good. you. All right, so like I was telling the people, you love to travel. Yeah. Um, why? Why is traveling your thing? Why it, it, it's your hobby, your pastime, your job, all mm -hmm. that? Why, why, why traveling? Yeah, so I mean, for me, traveling is just like so exhilarating for me. Like, I think the most and I mean, the most exciting thing about it is the fact that I get to experience a different way of life mm -hmm. outside of like my natural habitat and living in California and living in first in the Bay Area, not in LA. Mm -hmm. I love going to different places and like seeing how they live and seeing how they operate and you know, where they go out to party and different museums and everything like that. Come so, on parties. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, an experienced type of uh, traveler. I like to go for the experience. I know a lot of people like to go to like see certain things or to turn up or, you know, whatever the case may be. Me, I like to go and like get the experience. I like to get deep and like be where the locals live and all that. So it just, it just gives me a lot of perspective. Once I go somewhere and then come back, I'm like, okay, well, I can appreciate this because I went there and I seen that. I feel it. When did you like discover you love like or what was the one place that you traveled that you're like you know what mm. this yeah traveling this my shit like I, I can do this like what was that 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 turning point for you that's that's a good question actually one that i haven't been asked before but i will say that i believe the time was when i went to miami for the first time it, that's my favorite vacation spot no yeah. lie hands down love that fucking place it was it was it was miami for the first time it was for uh, a gay black event and um, it wasn't my first time out of uh, out of the state, mm. but it was my first time ever in Miami. And just to see people from all walks of life, like I ran into people that were from down south. I ran into people that were from the East Coast and out of the country and like all these different types of like black people, um, with different cultures and, you know, how they talk and everything. I was just so fascinated and I thought that was super duper dope. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, you know, on top of the fact that it was a turn up time. So I turned mm -hmm. up as well. So that was uh, that was one of the times where I was just like, okay, this is I want to explore more than Miami. Like I want to go out of the yeah. country or I want to go to you know somewhere else. So I think that was the time where I really thought about it. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. I feel that. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, another question I have for you, like you know, 2020 was a shit show, Ugh. and yes. there were so many restrictions on traveling and all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, what have been some of the differences of traveling that you found when? Uh, now that COVID has taken place, like what what was it like traveling prior to COVID, and now was like during COVID? Like, what do the people need to know? Yeah, so I mean, prior to COVID and being on lockdown and quarantine, like it was constantly busy. Mm -hmm. You know, airports full. You know, going to different places and uh, prices are up because you know tourism and everything like that. Um, being hard to book flights, being hard mm -hmm. to book hotels and Airbnbs, everything being sold out. 
So that was yeah. pre-COVID and then COVID happened and I did take a break for like six months yeah. when COVID happened. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know what's out in them streets. Right. They say it's this. And plus we really couldn't even go anywhere. Like yeah, they were shaming people. Shut the fuck down. Okay? Shut down. Like it was unfortunate. And you know, for a person like me, like you mentioned in the beginning, like mm -hmm. traveling is like a passion of mine that yeah. turns into turned into a hobby and now I get paid to do it. And it's like to actually not um, not be able to do something that I'm passionate about yeah. was like devastating to me. So I did wait six months and I finally started traveling again. And when I tra started traveling again in the middle of COVID and while we were locked down, um, flights were open, flights were cheap, you know, um, hotels were open, hotels were cheap. It was just like, you didn't have to worry about bumping into people. You didn't have yeah. to worry about like not getting a hotel because it was oversold or whatever the case may be. It was just so open and so free. And then you just felt like you were, you know, in a sense going somewhere that was exclusive because nobody else was going there <laughs> on a plane. Like and there's only like 10, 15 people on a plane. So I did a couple of trips with doing that um, in the middle of COVID and then towards the end of 2020 is when, you know, I, start to, I started to see a lot more people get comfortable Mm -hmm. and travel more. I was like, oh shit, they find they coming uh, back now. They coming back. So yeah, just like you, I mean, at living in LA or living in, uh, in Southern California, yeah. you know, you started to see a lot of traffic pick up. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're, if you're driving, you start to see a lot of traffic picking up and people aren't working from home. It's the same thing with flying. You start to see yeah. a lot more people on planes and everything. And I just got back from uh, I, I honestly don't remember, but I got back from some place. <laughs> I honestly don't remember, but I got back from one, one place and it was the plane was packed boots. Like I was just like, y'all need to just go home. I was like, we not done yet. <laughs> like, come on, can y'all get me till June? Like, Man. but yeah, so that's that. No, I feel like mm. I didn't do no traveling during COVID. I mm. stayed my black ass. <laughs> right here like a lot of people my traveling was from here to LA and I loved the <laughs> fucking freeways they were open yeah. there was never no traffic last year it was the most beautiful gorgeous thing I ever seen I was like this, this <laughs> I could do this all day mm -hmm. long and now 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 people are, are back out like, back out mm. yeah no all right so Streets. you are a a black traveler you are mm. a black gay traveler mm -hmm. black queer traveler right mm -hmm. um what are some things that black people black queer folks should look for when they're picking a destination when they're trying to book tickets for something like what what are places you may suggest or things that they should look out for like what kind of research should our people do Absolutely. before they start traveling yeah uh, that's also a good question. So I would personally say when it comes to uh, being black, which for me, black mm -hmm. goes first before anything else. Always. Um, but for me, um, being black, what I tend to do a lot um, is I like to go to a lot of museums. Mm -hmm. And I know that we don't have, uh, wherever you travel, it's not like you're having a, a lot of African-American history museums everywhere, but right. there are a lot in different places. And not even only that, I like to just get a little culture of just like where I'm living and where I'm from and everything. Come on, culture. Everything like that. And I, I, I love art. So mm -hmm. um, I love abstract art and uh, modern art and all that. So that's one oh, of my first things. I, I'm gonna sell you my painting. Then. Listen, if it's dope, <laughs> it's abstract. If it's dope, <laughs> man, give me a price. You, you want? You like abstract? I got some abstract. <laughs> <laughs> you put something together like? No, it's literally over there. Okay, well, I'm gonna take it out after the show. But um, I ain't shit, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sell on my show to his friend, to his homie. See how you do me? Anyways, yeah. So a museum, <laughs> definitely, and then. You know, as y'all can see, I'm a thick nigga. So I do like to- Come on, eat, thick niggas, you know thick niggas unite. <laughs> Is that what you do? Oh, uh, okay. Big niggas, you know. um, so yeah, I definitely like to go out to eat. So I would say go check out different restaurants. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, all different. Don't just go to a different place and be like, oh, I want some soul food. I want some barbecue. No shade. But uh, there's, I mean, expand yeah. your palate. Yeah. There's that, depending on where you're at, especially if you go out of the country. I was in Italy for a week and a half Come by on, myself, Italy. and I was forced to eat. Italian food and how they make it out there and everything like that and that kind of expanded my palate during that time. Nonetheless, Ooh. so museums, uh, restaurants, 
and um, maybe like a bar or something, like some dive bars, some hole in the wall hard, dive bar, man. dive bars. Mm. I mean, that would be. I mean, that would be a dope idea. I mean, there's yeah. so much. I mean, beaches and yeah. you know, uh, you landmarks. Made me hungry talking about the food though. Oh yeah. That like, ugh, I'm because I'm a fatty. I eat yeah. everything. Okay, y'all. Like, I, there's nothing I just won't try. I'm like, ooh, let me try this. Let me try this. Ugh. I'm the same way. Ugh. I'm definitely the same way. I like to ooh. eat. And also, I'm high, so I got munchies. So yeah, you know, <laughs> <this one. laughs> All right, that's dope. Um, uh, are there any specific places that you would say, hey, you know, if you're black, whatever, you should definitely go visit this place? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, I mean, for one, Africa. Come on, Africa. Know, um, and everywhere in Africa, uh, Nigeria, South Africa, everywhere. I'm gonna see my cousins one day. I would feel like we would just need to to go there just to experience. I mean, a lot of people are like, "Oh, well, I'm choose to like put American." But well, I mean, like places you've ancestry. been, you've been already. Oh, okay, well, um, I would say like Jamaica. The Bahamas, anywhere yeah. I would say in general, just anywhere black people are. <laughs> I feel like Honestly, I mean I because it's that. it's I'm telling you guys, it's such a trip to go somewhere and like see like black people, but just in a whole different culture. It's like when I was in uh Germany running into black Germans and everything like that. Like that's what I'm fascinated about. I told you guys about the museums and restaurants and everything, but I'm really fascinated just to see how other black people around the world, and I guess you could say other people in general, just kind of like live their lives and go about, you know, their lives. When I was in Jamaica, um, I essentially was staying in an, an all-inclusive resort, but it was like, it was stuffy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you get what I mean, it was stuffy, and it was just like, I want to see what's real. Like, I want to see what's really in Montego Bay. So I literally hired a car and like drove around like the slums and the hoods of Montego Bay, and like was just seeing people like out on the streets and like drinking and having a good time. And then that's what I really appreciate. I can care less about being cooped up on like a resort and like being in the pool or by the beach and everything. I wanna see the people. I wanna see how the people live. I wanna connect with the people. I wanna just, you know, you know, just get that lived in experience. I feel that. I am a double traveler, so. Mm -hmm. The first time I visit somewhere, I am definitely going for the tourist bullshit. I, I, that's who I am. Mm. Don't judge me, judge your mama. Okay, that's who I am though. The very first time I visit someplace, I am going for the tourist experience. I don't give a fuck about the locals. I hear that. No, no offense, y'all. But then if I am enjoying my tourist experience, I'm like, you know what? I want to go back. So when I make that second trip, that's when I'm like, okay, let me go see this place. Let me go check that place out. Let me now I can really, because that's for me, it's, it's limited time, and it's like I I want to be able to relax on vacation. You know, mm -hmm. I want to sit up and be smoking a blunt, drinking my drink, getting my dick sucked, whatever. Oh. Okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. But what location. I will say to that too <laughs> is what I've found, what I've come to find out too is a mm -hmm. lot of places, I mean, to, 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 I mean, I guess you can say, is assume the place that you want to go to somewhere tropical, yeah. and islandy, hence the drinks and everything like that. But I tend to find out that a lot, find out a lot of those places, and even no matter where you go, mm -hmm. here and far or whatever, yeah. they're very similar. Okay. And they also try to, you know, um, I guess you can say Americanized mm -hmm. or kind of like Europeanized, like the the whole kind of like aspect of the, the vacation. Yeah. It's like, how are you that. in Mexico? Right. And it, like, it feels like you see all these like white people and everything <laughs> right. from back home in America. Mm -hmm. It's like, I want to see a Mexican. Right, you go up to the bar. <laughs> like, you go up to the bar. I want a real taco. And they speak in perfect English. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I My nigga, like, I'm gonna need Spanish. I don't understand <laughs> it, but I'm gonna need Spanish so I can try to understand it. Like, I want cool. the experience. I that. So I get what you mean, yeah, though, but I it's can, just like, you know, no, it, it's that. very like watered down. And yeah, yeah, so. yeah, 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 that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I get that. And, um, mm. I do like that, too. Like, there be certain, like, when I go to a certain place, I'm like, I want to feel that experience. Like, when I went to the Bahamas, like, I mm. definitely had to get, like, some Baham Bahamian food. Yeah. So, like, I definitely went to, like, a local spot to get conk they have this thing called conk which my is god. really really good like a conk salad my god. which is kind of like ceviche and like mm. it's really good but, uh, yeah mm. gotta get back there hold on 
Mm. Just, just lift your hands and praise him. Oh, come on. That for the really, food. Yes, for the come food. Come on. Oh, for the food. Green. Hey. <laughs> Oof. Man. No. So, I got a fun question for you. Mm-hmm. If you could only travel one place for the rest of your entire travel life existence, mm-hmm. what would that one place be? So every time, you, yeah, every time you're ready to take a vacation or whatever, you can only go to this one place the for f- the rest of your life. Probably the Bahamas. I feel the fuck Probably out of that. Probably the Bahamas. Yeah. I feel the fuck out of that. Yeah. Yes. It would yes. definitely have to be somewhere where my people are at and I can feel comfortable around my people and get mm-hmm. the vibe. And then, you know, um, Bahamian people are just like so dope and laid back and cool like the last time i was there i stayed in the airbnb and the airbnb was directly behind the people that were uh, renting out the airbnb okay and they picked me up from the airport they took me to like this fair the next day like they were just very nice people mm-hmm. and um you know, just exploring around. I was there by myself as well. I rented a car, explored around and everything. Hey. And I was like, okay, this is cool. I can get with this. Like, this is a vibe. Okay. You know? So okay. yeah, probably there. But I mean, it's, you know, there's still so many places I want to go. So it sounds kind of still silly saying just that mm. when I'm sure that there are tons of places where I'm like, oh, I'm going to go there every time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it just sounds premature. Yeah. Like, I appreciate the whole aspect of yeah. like, oh, he's a traveler and everything like that. Okay. But Compared to what other people be out here traveling and seeing the world and everything, I have a long, long way to go. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. I definitely want to get more into traveling. Um, my life has just been so booked and busy mm-hmm. with my own personal bullshit and stuff that I just have not traveled as much as I want. But I feel like things are shifting this uh, year. So hopefully well, I do have a be- question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, why do you feel like a lot like a lot of black people don't travel? Like, why do you feel like people don't travel? Because black folks, we conspiracy theorists. We don't trust shit. Like, let's be honest. Like, you know, we don't trust planes, trains, automobiles, none of that. Like, you know, I, I think that's kind of part of the reason. I think part of the reason is uh, uh, financial statuses. You know, you do find a lot more uh, white folks or whoever, because, you know, there's more privilege Mm. with white people yeah i'm absolutely. keeping 100 there's more privilege with that you know financially and stuff so they're able to travel more so i, I think that has you know the social economic status of it all and um yeah uh just fear mainly yeah. fear like fear me is not fear i'm just busy or depressed it's one or the other <laughs> That's it's real. one or the other yeah. Uh, but yeah but i'm hoping there's a shift this uh year so i should be traveling a lot more so it will be i mean if you want to mm-hmm. do that i mean Literally, that's what you do. I mean, it's meta. I believe in manifestation, and that's exactly how I've been able to uh, travel as much as I have been. Because I literally set my mind, and I was like, "This is what I want to do. This is where I want to go." And ever since, I'm telling y'all, manifestation is real. Yeah, I'm getting into that. I be writing stuff down. I have a whole altar set up. It's it's a a thing. So yeah. So um, before I before we get ready to wrap this. I have one more question and then we're going to play a quick game. Okay. And then, you know, conclude. Um, Tell the people, you know, about JB Travels. Like, what is your vision for your travel blog and what all that entails and how they can look out for, you know, your stuff, promote your shit? Absolutely. (laughs) Well, first, I do want to say that I appreciate the opportunity to come on your amazing show and uh, discuss traveling and everything like that because I'm definitely a big advocate for black people traveling. Um, Not just me traveling, but I want us all to to see the world. I mean, (laughs) it's it's so huge, as you guys may know. It's so huge, so I'm a big advocate for it. So I thank you first for doing that. And then, yes, um, I recently just started a travel blog. It's called JB Travels. 
Um, essentially what it started off as is just me exploring, showing different um, places that I'm going, um, different restaurants to go to when you go to those places, different beaches, um, different clubs, different museums, um, just broke, breaking down in, into those different type of categories mm -hmm. um, wherever I go. And I also take pictures too. Yes. When I, go to, I bought a new camera during quarantine. so been taking different pictures and stuff and taking a step back to like capture different moments and everything. Um, so that's essentially where it started as. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of like a, um, I guess you can say like a travel agency. So essentially what I see it being in the final stages is um, essentially black people and everyone coming to me and saying, hey, can you plan my trip? I want to go here. Um, can you, you know, um, list several different black owned restaurants to go to, mm -hmm. several different black owned businesses to go to, mm -hmm. um, different museums, African-American museums. And okay. it's essentially I want to be in the position to plan someone's whole trip from when they get to their desk, um, when they get to their destination to when they're leaving um, and have it be focused on the black experience. What, I mean, obviously we're not a monolith, but like what I feel like they would want to do as a black person going to, out of the country or, you know, going to a different state. Um, for me, I wish that I had that when I was going to Germany, I went mm. to Germany and Amsterdam around the same time. And I didn't know where to go yeah. um, to see something that I wanted to see as mm -hmm. a black man. Right. You know, I did go to, you know, when I was in Amsterdam, went to, you know, Anne Frank's house museum thing mm -hmm. and, you know, coffee shops in Amsterdam. Come on, and, coffee you know, shops. The, <laughs> the Berlin Wall yeah. and stuff like that. But those are like general things. Like I personally, as a black man and that's super, super pro-black, not against anything else, just pro-black. I want to go to different places and see things that are in relation to who I am as a black man, even if it's like in a different part of the, the world. So um, that's essentially what JB Travels is going to be. The final outcome of that um, is still in the beginning stages because I have a low, like a low level of perfection, perfectionism, I guess you could say, or perfectionist. Yeah, I don't know. Perfectionist. So I'm trying to work out all the kinks and everything, but I have received so much support um, that are, that was allowing me to focus specifically on this journey. Um, and I'm just grateful and I'm blessed and I can't wait for you and everyone else to, yes. to see this journey and evolution of JB Travels. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it because I'm tired of planning shit. <laughs> You already know this. I am the event planner. If there's a big, I'm putting shit together for friend. Yeah. I'm t look. Let me go. Go ahead. Hurry up mm -hmm. so I can hide. Okay. Because yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> like I am tired. Okay. You are. You already know. It's like oh, we're doing Tahoe. Okay. Wait, I'm, I'm Airbnb I'm, hotel. I got you. I got you. I got you. I mean, who really wants to plan out? I mean, when you think about it. Who really wants to to plan all that out? You my, know, when you can have somebody do it. Yeah, I. But my friend's gonna look at this like, but you want to plan it? Yes, yeah. because I'm OCD. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. like, yes, I'm yes. a planner. He'll be like, but what about? There's a two o'clock that's missing. What are we doing at two o'clock? <laughs> yeah, I'm be like, you know, we have a whole itinerary. Ass, <laughs> but it do be tight. I'll be like, ah. Oh. But, uh, yeah, but like, come on, like, I'm yeah. going to hire you to Please. plan me in, like, a nice little vacation. Please. I'm ready for it. I want to be pampered for what? <laughs> so, you know? So, all right, we're going to play a quick little game. It's called Word Association. How okay. this game is going to work, I'm going to throw a word out. Mm -hmm. You're going to bounce one right back. And it just needs to ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. First person to stutter about it, taking a shot. Ooh, okay. Okay. And since um, this is, you know, the travel, the island vibes, you know, episode mm -hmm. here, uh, we're going to stick with that theme, all right? Okay. So if you want, you can go first. I can go first. So we're sticking with the traveling thing? Yeah, we're sticking like... with the traveling thing. Okay. Yeah. So I can go first. Yes, go. All right. Okay, right. New York. Times Square. Brooklyn. Harlem. Dubai. Let me take my shit. I don't know. How you gonna lose, like, right? I was gonna start the game because, in your first game. Because I wanted to say something, but it wasn't translating. You like, you know, when you I, have I, it in your hand, and then it was like, yeah, yeah, it wasn't coming out. Yeah. I can give you, a, I'll give you a, I'll give you a pass. Let's give start a over. Pass. All right, all right. I'll give you another chance, yeah. you know, to redeem yourself because I'm a good friend. Okay. So. Well, maybe I just wanted to take a shot. 
Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> now nah, let's go. Let's 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 do this. Let's do this. Okay, I'll start over. All right. You want me to start over? Yeah. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. So I'll start over. Um, Oakland. Mm, San Francisco. <laughs> Brooklyn. Mm, Harlem. Germany. Ooh, India. Africa. Ooh, Nigeria. Bosnia. China. Africa. Japan. I said Africa already. You was gonna. I see. I, I was still coming. I could have been a cheater and been like, you know, <laughs> but you know, I'm not a cheater. So how about we just both take it? I'm ready. Let's take the yeah. shot. Cheers. Cheers. Ice. I'm gonna told you about it. Look. Come by ice. ice. <laughs> Mm. That's number three, y'all. And this drink. Mm-hmm. I may have to be crashing it. Where where are we at? Where In is the that? middle of nowhere. <laughs> where is this at? Somewhere. I, I gotta go back to LA job. But yeah, that was that was good. Yes, yeah, so you know, thank you for coming on to the show. Of course. It's great talking about traveling. I can't wait to do more of it myself. But of course, in drinking dish fashion, before I let you go, we must chug off. Oh, we have to chug this too? Come on now. You, oh, you, 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 have been, you have been on the show. He tried it, boo. Nah. I know nothing about no chugging. Listen, so I just are, came so to are dance. You, so are you telling the people that you don't watch the show? I just I, came I, to dance. Are you, are you telling you don't watch the show? I do be watching the show, but I thought mine was going to be different. No, it wasn't different the last time. Okay, either. so before we, <laughs> before we chug, though, because yeah. this is going to be a lot. I'm going to give you a head start because I've been sipping. I'm going to give you like Listen, uh, two seconds. You're probably still going to win because I don't want to get it on this shirt. You better lean over. I'm going to have to do that. I wash this every week. Lean over. Okay, so let me say first. And I still, we go, juices is fine. Let me just give it like, <laughs> a little, my Audi, because you know, like uh, even with the podcast, old podcast, I was on. Like, oh, yeah, do yeah we'll do it right after the, the, the No, 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 I'm not, I'm not um, saying myself. I'm just oh. going to say a little last. Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I do want to say that I know that it's tough for us as black people to travel and go different mm -hmm. places. So I don't want people to watch this episode and be like, oh, well, you know, he probably has the capabilities of doing that and da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Like it hasn't always been like this. So yeah. I just, I know that a lot of people do want to get out. Just like you mentioned in the beginning, mm -hmm. finances and being scared are some of the things that hold us back. Yeah. For me, I know that it was finances in the beginning and I know for a lot of people out there, it's finances mm -hmm. as well. But again, if you really want to do it, make a way. If you got to save, you got to stack your coin or borrow, whatever the case may be, because getting that experience is so exhilarating. And I feel like it's so yeah. necessary just to broaden yourself and your heart and everything like that. So I, I do just want to say that. Come on with the word. Okay. Come on with the word. Let's chug this, child. All right. Let me get it on my shirt. Okay. Ooh, child, this is ghetto. Ready? What, um, you can still you, give me the head start? Yeah, you get two seconds. Well, I still got a little bit more than you, too. Yeah, that's why I said you get two seconds. Can I take one more sip before I chug? One more so sip. Me, okay. Don't be looking at me. Ready, yo. set, go. go. <laughs> I'm nervous. <sighs> you had a two... Well, First of I'll all, I'll be drinking. <laughs> what is this we drinking? I've been drinking uh, Jameson. Yeah, I know, but I didn't. I, I got a free okay. bottle, so it was tequila. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say all that. Okay, I'm, I'm serious. I'm gonna go right now. Right. Keep this in the bloopers. One, two. I can't believe I just chugged that. Good job. You had some leaking right there. I know. It always leaks. Oh, if it don't get all over the place, don't blow on your face. <laughs> I, no, that's wrong. Mm. Oh, not, not mixing it in. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga don't know what to do, child. I'm done. <laughs> that wasn't that bad because it was kind of watered down. So, mm. boop. Well, folks, and that was another episode of Drink and Dish. Thank you again to my boy, JB of JB Travels. All right, y'all. Get out there, travel, 
explore the world that God has given us, all right? Uh, as always, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Please follow us on our social medias, the t Twitter, the TikTok, the, the uh, Instagram, I'll be up there, all right? And as always, I shall see you all back here in two weeks. Have a good day on purpose. Peace. Thank you.